Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. And I haven't had a mage run in a long time, so we're going to play Rogue, because it still won't give me a goddamn mage. Well, I've also been having pretty bad runs lately. I wonder if there's a connection. <sighs> Iron Sensei is so friggin' strong, but you have to get the mechs, and you have to get them with them, and I just feel like the percentage of mechs is lower. I know there are mechs in the new set, but it's not like... The percentage of really good mechs is lower, that's for sure. The percentage of mechs that are boosted by other mechs also lower. So going for mechs just doesn't feel like a smarter strategy. I'm not a huge fan of the Kodo, but it's probably better. It's certainly better than this thing for a non-secret class. I'll take the Iron Sensei anyway, because whatever. He's, like, awesome when he works. Um, that is a weird row. Like, 2-6 for 4... Perfectly fine way to arrange the stats, it's okay, but restoring a minion to full health. You can't use it to heal yourself. It's a variable amount, but I mean it's often gonna be just, you know, one to three. Which is not that great a power for a guy like that. But I think I'm probably taking him anyway, because this is just getting shot bait and the egg. Eh. I'm not likely to have the death rattle tech I need for that. Do I go Jade with the Rogue? This has the advantage that this is a cheap enough card. There's no real drawback to taking it. It's not like the uh, it's not like the Druid like Jade Taunt guys that having a whole bunch of them because they're actually really slow. This is two one ones for two mana, and the first one has stealth. They're spread out over time, but it's never going to be that terrible. And if you get a couple more of these, then as soon as you're getting more than a one one from the Jade part, then these guys are actually doing pretty well. So it's hard to go wrong with them. Even though I should probably take a Yeti, because I've had a shortage of Yetis lately. All this fancy crap, no Yetis. Do I actually go for Jade now? How oh, what? I always go for Jade. Yeah, maybe I'm a sucker. But it has a lot of potential in the arena. Um, this guy's ability is terrible. That's virtually never going to come up. He's just a naked 4-4 for 4. four, four kind of stupid. Shadow Step doesn't go great with... It does go well with the Jade Spirit, actually. It doesn't go great with the Jade Swarmer. Is the Pit Snake really worth one of these? The Pit Snake can kill anything that's impressive against six out of the nine classes, kind of. But it's still... That's a tough choice. Now, I think I'll just take the Shadow Step and regret it. That's my plan. Um, I like Deckhand as a rogue. Deckhand is solid. Buccaneer, pretty good. Now, Smiteful Smith's also good as a rogue, and I don't have a lot of big things yet. He's, for a rogue deck, he's actually a little bit bigger than he looks. So I'm going to take that over the Buccaneer. Maybe a mistake. Shadow Ranger is way more interesting than most of these sorts of things. Because stealth does often negate his disadvantage of having no health whatsoever. Like, he's tempting. I don't have any of those give bonus to stealth guys the guys uh, the, the sensei that has battle cry give plus two plus two to a stealth minion even if I did, this guy's actually kind of a sh stupid target for it like, it's better than wasting the bonus, better than not having a stealth guy but changing him from a 5-1 to a 7-3 doesn't do that much functionally, he's still probably just going to die I think I'd rather just take the kooky chemist because he's so flexible and potentially awesome Big Game Hunter costing five. These guys used to cost three. It's crazy. I'm not going like Weasel Tech. That's, that is always an odd plan. It is definitely an odd plan when you're a non-hunter in the arena. There's like basically no excuse. Preparation is only for spells, not other, like not minions and stuff. So nuts to that. We're, we're take the Big Game Hunter. Maybe he'll do his job. Um. This is an AoE which is hard to get a hold of. It probably just mostly kill my own stuff. Bomb Squad is targeted, which is good. You take five, which is bad. Oh, let's just take him. It's fine. Um, I don't have the best hero ability for this guy, but he's awesome, so I'm going to take him anyway. Need more things that are big. Oh, this! Why couldn't you guys have been in other rows? Because the Jade Shuriken, again. There's basically no drawback to the Jade for this. That's why one of the reasons that I like the idea of going for Jade as a rogue. 
because your two core jade cards are the Swarmer and the Shuriken, which are both cheap. Two, just flat two, and two with combo, which is quite doable. And this is still a perfectly good card. They don't have anything big yet, so I think the Bob Creeper, like, really like the Bob Creeper, and he's better than a bunch of the other cards I have. Okay, not, I'm not doing too bad yet, but I would have taken him over the Hosen Healer, that's a, that's for damn sure. Probably with the Big Game Hunter, even though the Big Game Hunter is better rarity. I think I'm going to take the Jade, ah, I mean, I'm not as committed to Jade yet, I only have two, but I mean, it'll make every one better if I take this, but... No, that's, it's just such a hard choice, because this guy is amazing for late game saving your ass, but this... If this is a Jade Swarmer, I would actually just take the Bog Creeper. I wouldn't be thinking about it that much. But I don't have a lot of stuff for killing things. Doing two damage directly to finish your opponent if they're super low, but also just finishing off minions is so strong, and I've got, like, none of that. Ah! Ray, this, this row is terrible. I'm not going to get any more of these guys. I'm probably not going to get any more of these. If I don't get any more of these, then I'm better off taking him, but... I'm going to take the Bog Creeper, because he's just too goddamn good. I'm, that's what I'm usually lacking. I'll take the Shadow Strike to kill something, even though Buccaneer is quite awesome. Counterfeit Coin, is that really something I would pick in the arena? I don't really have any combo stuff yet. The Spiked Hog Rider is not as terrible. It's like, he's a 5-5 five, five for 5, which is okay, at least there's some meat there. And then if there's an enemy minion with taunt, he gains charge. So if your opponent plays taunt to stop you from doing something, he kind of negates that. So he might sort of meta work out okay. On the other hand, this guy, if your opponent has at least three minions, so three or more minions on the other side, then he's just a 4-5 taunt for three. 4-5 taunt for five is bad, but it's not even terrible. I think I should take this guy. I think he's actually pretty good arena-wise. These are both fairly big, useful minions. Or I could take Vanish, because it's pretty hard to get board wipe as a rogue. I do have the Murlocs here. I have some Battlecry stuff that could benefit from the Vanish. Got no mechs for uh, the Iron Sensei, of course. Be too damn useful. I often find Vanish is not the card that I want to see, but I think I'm going to take it. I don't like your stats. Why can't you be a 3-6? You'd be awesome as a 3-6. But no, you're just going to go out there and get greased. Uh, I guess we'll take Sap. Not my favorite, but I've lost a lot of games to being Sapped. Fan of Knives? I would actually have a decent amount of area stuff at that point. Although, I'm I'm short in the two-mana department, and the Gilblin Stalker is such a prime, like, two-mana minion. And you never know, I might get the Sensei or something. Let, let's take that. No, I should probably take the Phantom Knives. Bluegill kills stuff, but I'm pretty fond of Betrayal. Especially in the arena. It's hard to get that kind of value from a lot of things. Um, I've already turned down some pirates, unfortunately, because the ship's cannon would be awesome. I'm probably still taking the ship's cannon out of these guys. I'm not going Murlocs. Socialite's not that good. I've got one... Yeah, I've got, like, one pirate. But whatever. It's still a 2-3 two, for 2. I, could, I passed up two Buccaneers, who are awesome cheap pirates, so that's kind of annoying, but... Um, Perdition's Blade, see, this, one, this thing always gets me, because it's it costs more than my hero power, and it, as a weapon, it's barely any better than my hero power. But the dealing damage when it comes into play is really strong. On the other hand, the Ferryman is a 2-3 two, for 2, and then you can... You can either sort of play him first if you don't want his combo, or you can play him after and combo him to reuse one of your battle cries, which could potentially be worthwhile. Although I don't have that much jade, so bouncing the jade spirit isn't looking that exciting. I weapons. I think I'm going to take the ferryman. Probably another mistake. Uh, do I want more jade now, or I'm already at 20 cards and I have two jade. Looking kind of sad. Like he again, he's not a powerhouse. He's not as good as the shuriken. I would probably just take the shuriken still. Tomb Pillager is pretty solid, like the stats you get for his cost. 
and the coin can help you with other combos and things. Uh, let's take the Swarmer, I don't know, gamble on some Jade stuff, we'll take Assassinate out of those guys easily. Um, we'll have a bunch of bouncy stuff, I don't know how much we have that's worth bouncing, but we got lots of bouncy stuff. You're probably a 3-3 for 2. I mean, this does give me more stuff on the board. I have hardly anything that cares about pirates, but let's take her anyway. I'm so my 2 cost set, I, I now have lots of 2 cost stuff, where for a while I had, like, insufficient. But I'm going to end up taking this anyway, because those other guys are not that great. Jade Shuriken over... I don't have that much damaging stuff. Polluted Hoarder would probably be good for card drawing, but this would give me 4 Jade cards. It's not nothing... Spider tank, why not? Have like a Hail Mary combo to potentially get someone for the uh, sensei. I don't have any dragons for you. You're terrible. I guess Shadow Ranger. Um, I think I'm back to needing bigger stuff. A lot of my 5 cost and up stuff isn't actually that big, so I'm going to take the Harpy as a way to deal more damage. Thistle Tea is super random. Like, late game, it is giving you a bunch of copies of things, but... Man. It, the thing is, it's so random. Cause normal card drawing actually helps you even out randomness. This just magnifies randomness. It's just like, oh, you draw... Th if you draw three copies of Assassinate, that may that's awesome. If you draw three copies of Hosen Healer, you're like, we or late game you get three copies of like well, Shadow Steps probably not gonna help that much. Three copies of Gildan Stalker. He's awesome early game, but late game, I don't know. I'm gonna take the Thistle Tea anyway, because I'm gonna need some kind of crazy randomness on my side, and it is more cards. Um not great deck. I think the Bog Creeper I currently have four, what, four or five Jade cards. I, I lost track all of a sudden. But four or five Jade cards. Having one more Shuriken instead of the Bog Creeper, I think I'm better off with the Bog Creeper for sure. The thing about going Jade in the Arena is you have that chance that it just goes Super Saiyan. That you just get, like, easily for a Rogue, you could end up with extra, like, since your Jade cards are so cheap... You could end up with extra copies of one of those. If you had five shurikens and it, for a total of ten jade cards, that'd be nuts in the arena. When you start like when you play like the sixth one, you're getting a six six plus whatever your card was already doing. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. Iron Sensei is castable, but I should probably get rid of him because he's really just like a bad two two in this deck. I'm going to get rid of all of those cards. Give me cards I can cast. There are lots of two-cost cards in here. <coughs> See, it's, it's better, other than the lack of auto squelch. Still a critical missing feature in this game. I should, I should go in and just, like, record it as a bug every goddamn day. I'm sure they just ignore people who do that, because it'd be pointless and annoying. But I like that you hurt yourself to do that. Um, let's play a Swarmer. He doesn't give me the Jade right away, because I think it's part of the reason that they're so that the Rogue has two cheap ones. Because this is not a battle cry, so even though it's unlikely to be silenced or something, you so you don't get it right away. You forgot to attack. Kind of a sad day for you. Uh, I'm gonna hit you. Or am I? No, I don't think I'm gonna worry about that. I think I'm gonna hit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you. But I will not kill you right now. I will instead play another jade. I realize I could take some damage for that, but I saved damage by not having the thing. If my opponent plays one more minion, I can play him for three mana, which is pretty cool. Talk about a nice... yeah, that's a little awkward. But I also had the Betrayal as a backup. Should work out fine.
Right, I'm gonna kung fu that guy, because then I'll have a dagger for her. That's all fine. No cheap bruiser, but that's okay. Three, 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 three. Exactly three. Four. I'll take it. It's fine. I'm not ready. Here we go. Implosion was not the correct counter to that under this circumstance. Now that's three, still three damage worth of imps they will take up my- Oh god damn it! Okay, works out fine for you then. Yeah. Ah, oh, so many cards. Like, he doesn't kill my guy, but he gets a million cards. That's pretty terrific there. God damn it. Okay, well, that is... The raptor part is not the worst. Um, probably want to get his jade going. My jade's actually been going pretty well this game. So I'm gonna kill that. Let me hit you. Jade ferryman, pretty good deal. I mean, it's still kind of expensive mana-wise, but it seems pretty card efficient to me. Hellfire would be annoying. You are not the boss of me. Malchazar's imp. In Interesting choice. Uh, you do get, you did get it with that guy, so it's gonna work out for you. Oh, that sucks too. Hooray! He's pretty big. So tempted to like. Uh, if, if I was killing the imp, then I would want to, like, sap her, but since I'm not. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good use of melee. I would have liked to just stab that guy, but I, if I was going to stab, I'd probably kill the imp, just in case my opponent, who's already drawn a million cards, would not draw more cards. This game goes to fatigue, I'm going to be well placed. Okay, I'm thinking let's sap Mr. Overcosted here. It's not the best thing to sap ever, but we're going to do it. Probably doesn't have any more discard stuff to combo with that, but I'm not taking the chance. In the meantime, army. Of course, if he has a Fellfire Potion, I'm going to be annoyed. He's drawn like half his deck already, so... If he had one, there's a reasonable chance he got it. Because she could just kill him, draw a card, and then Fellfire Potion. And I would lose all the advantage that I've sort of built up. So many possibilities... No Fellfire, no Fellfire, no Fellfire. Abyssal would also be fairly bad, but not as bad. Okay, that's looking like a good sign. Okay, a little annoying. Deckhand! Hooray! Alright, well he didn't play an AoE there, let's see if he has an AoE now. I'm going to save one guy in my hand, just in case, but I have a lot of damage on the board. A one point area damage spell would make a huge difference. Ah, he's got the Hellfire, god damn it! Is that guy even gross from it? All right, well, let's see what Captain Random does for me. He's of crap. 
God damn worthless ass thistle tea piece of crap. This is not helpful at all. Although if I still had Jade what's his face, it could actually almost be helpful, but no. It's really not good. I'm surprised you even played the zombie. Put it on your oh, you just want to pass, okay. Meanwhile, I'm screwed. I've already played most of my good stuff, and the thistle tea just gave me garbage. Here we go. Uh, I am literally dead now. There's nothing I can do, so let's screw around. Demonstrate how stupid this is. Piece of crap this will do this. Why? I was telling you that this will is not necessarily good. That would have turned into a lot of guys if I had the Jade What's-His-Face, though. Replay him for two mana. Replay him for two mana. I'm, I'm pretty sure he just won that when he had the Cult Leader guy, so that's why he imploded a 2-2 with no ability. It was like, that seems like a waste, and it let me play my guy. But of course he had the cult the cult leader to go with it and that was just too many cards from that and he got another card from Malchazar's imp that I then wasted time getting rid of. Ah. Well that sucks. I really have to get a good run one of these times. We'll see if I can turn this into one next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.